Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Wild Man, Amnesty, Yeti, Swamp Ape, Rock Ape, Grass Man. Just what the hell are these creatures, folks? And will we ever know the answers? I think not. These creatures have been around in time for thousands of years if you go by the old Indian stories, the American Indian. And what, what we have to understand is that the governments are not just hiding these, the, the existence of these creatures from the general public because of forestry or national parks because it's we're not talking about the, the USA and, and Canada here they're all over the world you don't think that one country one little country where they are in the world would have a, a zoo you know a, a dedicated zoo for these for these I don't even want to call them animals or these these beans if you know, if we could just go out and catch one, you know? So, there is much more to this than meets the eye. And I think the general, the big question that I ask myself is, why are these beans being, uh, being hidden from uh, the, the general public and the general public's knowledge? Uh, I think I think personally is because uh, if we knew the truth about these creatures, it would uh, it would shake the very the very fabric of uh, what we understand as uh, as our uh, our world, our 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 society, you know. And you know, it's it's not only Bigfoot Sasquatch that people are seeing folks even you even have accounts of uh, people encountering joints you know joints believe it or not like uh, the stuff the stuff of bi biblical stories no so I think we shouldn't just just because uh, these hairy beings are living out in the wild we shouldn't just assume that they are uh, you know stupid monkeys out there because uh, Think about it They've been around for thousands of years The only definitive video that has ever been got gotten of one of these creatures Well, there's been two first one 1967 uh, Patterson Gimlin and then the second one is the Paul Freeman uh, video But think about it today's today's uh, today's technology everyone has a phone we have drones, you have uh, trail cameras. These things cannot be captured on, on these technologies, folks. Unless they, they make a mistake, you know, these creatures. That seems to be the general trend, you know. Most, most of encounters with Bigfoot are of people seeing them uh, when they're crossing the roads. Um, and... If you read the many, the many stories, you will begin to understand that these creatures exhibit somewhat of, uh, I would say, su supernatural qualities. Some people believe they can, they come in and out of dimensions, they can uh, cloak, um, you know, even, even the story that I told on this channel, the, the, the green glow, you know, what, what's that all about, you know? Um, and the other, the other intriguing thing about the, this subject is, uh, you know, they're, they're, there's ones of them that are very human looking like, which, which would make you believe that they are part human, or at least the human DNA has been incorporated into whatever this creature was originally. And I would just say, you know, Maybe it is not our governments that are, you know, keeping these beings 
hidden from us. Maybe, maybe these beans are dictating to our governments. You know, just because they're out in the wild, running around with no technology, it doesn't mean anything. They could be light years ahead of us in terms of intelligence. Just maybe this is how they choose to exist. So, you know, you get into this topic, folks. You 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 go down the rabbit hole. You start, you know, you you, need, you start asking these questions. And, uh, you know, even, even in the Vietnam War, the American soldiers encountered these beans in the, in the jungles of, of Vietnam and, and Laos. Uh, and they, they called them rock apes, you know. So, yeah, it's, an intriguing, it's an intriguing topic. Uh, and, you know, it just makes you wonder what, what else is out there. What other, maybe what other cryptids and, and stuff are really true, you know. I mean... You know, a mermaid could pop up in front of me now. I'd be surprised, no. But uh, you know, would would I be would I be astounded? Could I could I accept it? Sure, because we are only we are only spoon fed what uh, what we are what they want us to know. You know, the books, every the books and things we we learn in school. It's all you know. So we only know what they want us to know so who knows what the what the real world is out there some turtles here now folks uh, i won't I suppose i get them on video but yeah just some thoughts just some thoughts about this subject and uh, uh i was uh, i was talking to uh to a man the other day and he told me that uh, his grandfather used to tell a story of uh, uh of a bigfoot uh bigfoot uh, Bigfoot encounters in this this small village somewhere in, uh, in the south of Brazil, and he said, and he he told me that he couldn't remember exactly, but he would uh, he would try and find out more. But it it did involve like um, a German scientist, which really uh, got got me uh, got my ears perked up because uh, immediately I thought, oh, well, maybe these. Uh, uh, you know these Nazi doctors and scientists that fled to South America and after the Second World War, and he said it was around this time. So he's going to find out more. So that's a very, very intriguing story that could be. So hopefully, uh, I c he can give me some more information and we can we can get another story because that sounds fascinating. But uh, yeah, Bigfoot Sasquatch, folks, intriguing, no? And. Uh, so, alright, I'm gonna stop this video here and uh, still so hot here, but nice day, nice evening. Okay, ciao for now.